Hi, this is Lisa Mae DeMacy with another Equus Film Festival web chat here with accomplished equestrian artist Marilyn Borglum. Welcome, Marilyn. Hi, thank you. Thanks for having me. Marilyn, you've said great works are not intellectual statements. Great works make you feel. And you've also said that each piece has to be about truth and deception. Can you speak about these two statements in terms of your journey as an artist? Yes, thank you. Well, one of the reasons I made that statement in my artist statement is because I feel like the art world often lifts up art that I feel is too heavily focused on making an, an intellectual conceptual statement. And I feel as a working artist that really as you're making your art, you're putting yourself onto the canvas and it is an emotional experience and the most successful work is work that is the most successful at being you know genuinely you know being willing to identify who you are as a person and not doing what somebody else is doing or not being influenced in terms of how you're putting that on the canvas by outside sources while you're still taking issues that you're passionate about for your you know for your concept mm -hmm as you work those out. So that's, I think, what I mean by the difference between, you know, truth and deception. And it runs through a lot of different veins of my work, not just the actual working process, but, you know, there's a lot of other things about the concept of my work where I consider that. I see. Thank you. Uh, your festival entry is Urano, which depicts a Lusitano draped in red satin crepe. Can you tell us a little bit about this gorgeous, gorgeous acrylic painting? Yes, thank you. Well, Urano is a beautiful gray Lusitano stallion owned by a very good friend of mine, Lisa Dearson. And I was first introduced to Lisa over 10 years ago now. And when I saw her horse, I just loved him. Very classical look. And so he, I mean, he was actually very gray when I first saw him and he's gotten to where he's almost white because as you know, Lusitanos change color as they get older. And so he, as he became a little less dappled, I started, you know, painting him a lot. And I, um, in that particular painting, uh, we used a red satin crepe drape and wrapped around him, you know, kind of a square format where I was really focusing on that classical, you know, head pose of the Burroughs course. Beautiful. Thank you. Uh, is there anything else you'd like, uh, that you'd like us to know about your work? Um, well, I guess in terms of an equine painter, I do other things, but with the equine work, that my work is really focused on gesture and movement and the mass of the horse and um, those elements. Wonderful. And where can folks contact you to learn more about your work? Well, I do have a website and I always enjoy hearing from people, even if there are other artists, just I enjoy hearing, you know, how people respond to my work. And there are uh, several galleries that represent my work in the United States, one in the Baltimore area, a group of uh, galleries in Baltimore, one uh, in Colorado, in the Beaver Creek area, and then in Atlanta. And they can find those galleries uh, if they Google my name and they can reach out to those galleries or to me. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, any last words for our festival audience before we sign off? I guess what I would just like to say is how pleased I am that the horse in sport and in art has been elevated in the last few years. You know, horses made it into interior designs. You know, horses are all over the internet in ad campaigns. And, you know, this equestrian sport is getting, you know, a lot of new uh, growth in the last, you know, five, 10 years. So I think that's something that's worth noting. Very good. Well, thank you so much, Marilyn, for participating in the festival this year, and it was great to talk to you. Thank you, Lisa.